Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to the burgeoning town of Dragonstone in Kingdoms and Castles where I'm looking down uh, the main road of Dragonstone here. I like you can follow it through, it's got the thing of you can actually go through structures. So you can just walk straight along the road at, in at insane speeds. So it's nice when you can do that in instead of like when you get to the, uh, the gates you just suddenly jump up to the top of them and then jump back down again. So you can just, uh, you can walk the streets of your towns. So yeah, last episode we got attacked by a dragon and learned that we should probably put ballista towers everywhere, pretty much. But yeah, I promised last episode that I'm gonna that I was gonna put a uh, a wall in here, so I think I might just do that now. And of course, it started snowing immediately, so I can't see the uh, the tiles properly. What I'm thinking is we have the bridge cross here, because then it lines up nicely with this road, which goes right in front of the castle. Lines up here. I mean, it'd be better there because those are all barren tiles, but I don't think it matters that much. Either way, it's going into a massive forest and I can't see what's in there. It's probably all super fertile land, so whatever. Actually, that was mostly normally fertile land, but yeah, that's fine. See, I think we'll just put flanking towers in here. We could move it forwards, but I don't think there's any real reason to. It's fine to have a little nook here. I will probably swap this, though, for a library at some point. It seems like that's a good idea. Oh, definitely I should swap this one out for a library because... Everyone's gonna hate that, surely. Yep, dislikes the smoke from the from the charcoal maker, minus ten, whereas the uh actually having charcoal I think gives it plus eight, so overall it would prefer to just not have any charcoal at all, rather than have uh, the charcoal we made right next to it. Okay, let's do it. Definitely at least two, we'll probably go higher than that, but we've already used up our stone again. We put most of it into making these piers back here. That's being slowly got on with. We've got plenty of workers to be working on that, which is nice. Hmm. What have I got to say? Everyone's very happy. We can tax them a bit more. Yeah, at the moment, the happiness is 80. I think that means we can up it straight to maximum tax and still be... Okay, yeah, that puts us at 56. So it's a little bit close to the edge there. Like, if there's a plague, people might start leaving. But it means that we're just raking in stupid amounts of money. We're getting 100 gold a year. Works for me, as it's doing. Oh, only two tools left now to be able to deconstruct the thing. Very nice. This is making decent progress then. Hopefully the people are able to focus on the... Actually, there's nothing in here. I wish it would just give you, like... It would just tell you what's being stored, but I can look at it and see that there is only charcoal here and nothing else, which is not what we're looking for. We want the iron to be stored here. And actually, that's not a bad idea, because at the moment there's no use for iron up in this place. So we'll remove the ability to store it there, which is going to break everything, because there's far too much being stored there as it is. More than this stockpile can take entirely, I would imagine. So things might go a little bit wrong. But hopefully, I guess the two people that work here will now work overtime on delivering all the iron in. And that will take the pressure off the blacksmiths to actually go and get the iron themselves. Yeah, that guy there is having to go all the way back to the stockpile to grab the stuff, so... Come on, stockpile people, get on with it. I'm guessing that there's a... Uh... Yep, there's some employed there. Might take them some time, they might gather other stuff instead. Hmm. We'll shut off everything else, we'll just have it be... We'll have it be the things that are needed, and then the only thing that those two stockpile workers will be doing is actually bringing in the stuff that the blacksmith needs, and that will be... It will hopefully mean that it can work quicker. I think that's how it all works. This is nearly done. They're just delivering the stuff for the last thing. It got ordered a little bit later on, so I guess they're all... It's all low priority for everybody. Oh, someone died in a woodcutting accident. It's interesting that that's a mechanic, that they actually have people occasionally die from a... Uh, Injuries relating to what they actually do, and you can actually have people drown when you order them to build piers and stuff like that. That's always cool. Nice little touch. What have we got? Usual harvest news. There we go, we've got a lot of people working on this now. Already we've got people idle, even though there's still two walls and a pier being built. We've just got so many people free to work on construction projects. Let us get a road. And a gate. And I guess we'll just start building the bridge, why not? Well, there is one reason that being... That uh, Vikings might just come straight through here and knock the bridge out, but we'll put it in. And then it's there and it's ready and it uses wood and we got plenty of that. Does it use anything else? 
Yeah, just two wood. Super cheap. It's only twice the cost of a road. Pretty reasonable, really, if you think about it. I was expecting it to be like ten wood or something. Shouldn't say that, though. The developers look at ideas. Went up very easily. This one's taking a little bit longer. Got a lot more materials to deliver. This work is almost entirely done. A little bit more to go. Wood supply is fine. Stone, su stone supply is pretty reasonable too. We're going to use that though. We're going to carry on expanding this stuff here. I want to make sure that my my gatehouses are very well defended and uh, also look nice. Also very important. I need five more stones so I can build this one extra bit of uh, of tower and then we'll be good. Come on. Oop, and yep, that was the rock going. I like how it makes the sound that anything makes when destroyed, so you panic and think that something's been blown up. Yeah, there's no need to remove that, I think, really. Actually, where's the nearest well? Uh, there's one there, that should be... Actually, it doesn't have coverage that far. We could just put a well there, though. Actually, that's the door to the Great Hall, whatever that thing does. Apparently, it's got capacity for workers, but there's no number to it. I don't get what this thing is, but it seems like it's something important, so I just thought I'd build it. I like the idea that you, of like building all the the extra sort of castle buildings off the main castle, so that you actually uh, they actually form one big structure. It looks a little bit messy. And there's a hole in the middle. It's a courtyard. It's it's a courtyard. That's what it is. It, it was a purposeful design decision, and not just a mess. I think we like we we got so many people like available at the moment. So let's put another quarry in on the other side of this rock. We're just tearing this thing down at this point. So many people working on it at the same time. Sizable chunk of our kingdom. Yeah, I think I'll put a well in like this corner here or something. What else is it that we might need over here? No real need for a library at this point. They've all got like radiuses. The uh, the buildings that affect happiness. So putting one away from houses would be dumb. We could put a small stockpile around here just to be specific to something. Good to leave room for that in case I decide on doing that later. I don't know if there's need for another mason. I don't know like if the masons have a range or not, because when you click on them, it doesn't show one, if I can actually click on it. Yeah, things like the church, they show radiuses. And I've found that uh, there's a little bit of a mean thing with the churches, really. Of uh, As we saw previously, before we built this church, there was a debuff to happiness, because there were people um, not in range of churches. The thing is, if any building, if, if any houses are not in range of a church, there is a global debuff to happiness, as far as I'm aware, which is ridiculous. So it's like, yeah, we've got all these places uh, in range of this church, everyone's happy, build a hovel over here, five people out of range, immediately, like, a negative 15 to happiness. It's crazy. It's as bad as having a plague. Five people being out of range of a church is considered as bad for the population as a plague. So that's a little bit weird. No one wants to live here because everyone's unhappy. Food is fine. Taxes are insane. Let's drop them to two. And then people won't start leaving. Oh, someone just did. Or they died of the plague. One of those. It was the plague. Those are all finished now, so we can start working on the walls, perhaps. Oh, we need to finish this here. I don't know if we should eventually build everything for high. I don't know if there's that much reason, though. So it looks nicer to have uh, smaller walls with uh, towers sticking up. How wide is this? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so we can't have an every other square thing. It doesn't line up properly. I wish this wasn't a tower, though, because it would make more sense if there was one here and one there. But alas, I did not plan ahead far enough. Yeah, a tower here, and then a tower here, and then there's a gap of two in the middle, and whatever, it's fine. So yeah, we'll build this up. And then these two. I think we'll put ballistas on these middle ones, because these should only be dealing with, like, ships coming in or dragons flying over, so... I feel like it makes a bit more sense for them to be, uh, the heavier weapons. Used up all our stone again. Despite the, the crazy production we now have going, maybe we should start clearing out some of these rocks here. Do we have any spare tools? We've got one at the moment that might be about to arrive somewhere and be used, though, so... Hmm. This has still only got charcoal. 
And you go over here and there's still the insane mountain of, uh, of iron. What is that about? Why are people not delivering it over? This place is no longer supposed to accept iron. I guess that would mean, though, that if we started this running again, it would deliver the iron up to here. But we're, we're still drowning in this stuff. I don't know if there's much reason to. Maybe we have spare people. It said there were idle people for a second, and then it stopped. I'm worried something's set on fire. And they're not idle because they're putting a fire out. That looks like it's all fine. Weird. At the moment, they should all be working on the, the building. Or maybe for a second they finished a building, and so they... appeared as idle for a second while they looked for a new one. Charcoal is slowly rising, which is good. What I'm going to do is get rid of this, because it's in a terrible spot, and I'm a terrible person for putting it there. And then what I will do... Where is it? It's in town. It's a library. There we go. Which way around does it go? I'll say that'll work. Takes a bit of gold and stuff, but yeah, this should just boost everyone's happiness, or everyone within range, and just slowly increase its effect as time goes on. I see no... Problem with it, apart from the fact that you have to pay for it constantly. That is a thing that you have to uh, put tax money towards it, but as we've boosted our tax at the moment, our income is still pretty crazy. 39 a year. It's just going up and up. It's a good job we don't have to physically store the money, because we'd have a serious problem. Too much wood. That's alright, we can probably make some more roads or something. Every time, every time I look to do some construction, it's immediately winter and I can't see what I'm doing. Curses. Yeah, this is done now. Someone's manning that. Oh, this is about to be finished. Let's build some more... Let's build the defences we were going to build. Uses a lot of wood and barely any stone, so perfect. These actually have a direction they can face, but I believe it's irrelevant. But we'll put two here. And see how they fare. And at some point we'll put some here as well. I'm a bit worried about building like four at once. I want to see what they... Uh, what they require in terms of uh, manpower and money, because it doesn't say that on this uh, thing. The initial cost is cheaper, which is weird. You'd expect, like, a, a giant ballista thing to cost more money than a canopy and some bows, but sure. It's cheaper, but the running cost may be higher. See no reason to build a moat. Entirely uses money as well. Right, we've got it. Well, we got enough. I was going to say we've got a little bit of stone to work on piers. We've got enough to work on one. Let's just get some towers being built. Let's actually hold on. If we just build some on the corners, and then we can actually build the uh, build some corner towers. We'll build a corner tower because that's already all of our stuff. We can't build that on top yet. We'll build one over here. I don't want it here. Not sure. Being indecisive, that's the problem. I don't want to make a, a mistake and have it that it's, uh, that the walls are really awkward for me later. I want to try and get it right the first time if I can. But that means that I don't do things. And then while I'm busy not doing things, I end up really regretting it because of the Vikings attack and I haven't got any defences. Should I remove this wall? I don't know if it's really needed. I keep saying that. This one too is sort of pointless, but it would leave a, an open square which wouldn't... There won't be any point in that particularly. One thing that's for certain, we need more defences on here. Let's build something on this spot here. This seems to be a nice sort of middle point for everything else. Build it too high and order the construction of an archer tower on the top. I don't know if it is a good idea to have all the archer towers be four squares up. I think it, it may be better to have a variation. Have some that are just like two up so that they have a really high damage output for anything that's really close to them. And then have some that are like 6 to 8 high or something crazy so they can just uh, snipe people from a distance as they come in. Speaking of, the Vikings are invading. It was such a good idea to build these houses here. Because now they just never attack from anywhere but there because it's the most undefended place. It's wonderful. I mean, they might yet decide to come around here, which would be a bit more of a problem. I know they seem to be happy to land here and are knocking down more trees. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's going to be a long time before I build over here, but... I would still like there to be some trees left so that I can build some foresters here when I get here. But they seem, uh... Obsessed with knocking down every tree they can possibly find. The ogre seems to be taking uh, the long route round. Yeah, he's just going, he's going in by ship. Well, why is that one left? Why did they go? 
And they've had a bit of confusion there. They just got back on the ship and left again without actually doing any attacking. All right, here they come. A couple of Vikings coming in. They're really not doing a good job of this. People are just stood by their boats. They keep leaving. What's happened? Am I scaring them off? Is it a glitch? Who knows? Oh, he's going through the sea. That's not good because these are all peers. Oh, I didn't switch on the towers. I forgot. I knew this would happen. Here I am just gloating that everything will be fine and I can easily destroy them all. And I'm like, oh wait, no one's actually firing arrows at them because I didn't do anything. Oh good, they've been made a bit more durable so you can't just like knock them down in one hit. But it's still, at, it's gonna go. We can't, we can't kill them quick enough. Are the towers still holding? Oh, you can see the cracks. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh my god, we got him! We actually did it and now the masons should come in and start fixing this again. That's awesome. So now they have like cracks that slowly rise through the tower, so higher towers will have better defenses. And it seems like the um, the issue with piers is gone. The issue that they could just destroy that and everything would be fine. And I just heard a dragon, so let's pause and see where he is. Where are you, dragon? Are you over there? Oh no, something's gone away. Oh, it's the flags. It's the flags on the ships. Apparently the glitches with these are significantly worse. This is more in line with the usual thing I expect from uh, from animations going horribly, horribly wrong. Whereas this one was a bit weird because it was so normal and not insane. Yeah, for a second I thought the dragon was glitching out because of course the flags are red. How far do these go? Can I? Oh, I can't follow them. Just go off into the middle of nowhere. I'm not seeing the dragon. I mean, it's a bit... Oh, there he is. He's over there. Is he a big one or a small one? He is a small one, which is nice. Maybe he'll get lacerated by the insane hyper flags that are defying oh no, all known laws of physics. Let's just switch them all on. Because the dragon can end up anywhere, really. Oh, he's flying over our undefended bit. Please go more this way. Look, look at all the, the cool things you can set on fire over here. This stuff's boring. It's just a couple of farms. And a forest. Who would want to set that on fire? Yes, right, you should come over here. Have a look at our, at our, our excellently growing city full of riches that you would love to, to burn down and steal off of. Oh, there we go. That's all fixed. Awesome. Is he leaving? He's in a good spot anyway now. He should be uh, easily taken down if he actually comes back into range. Is he going? No, he's coming back round. Uh, he, he knows that he shouldn't get too close. He's staying in range of just one of the towers and hopping in and out. Trying to be threatening. It's not going to work. We can stop you. We will pelt you with millions of arrows till you just collapse from the weight of them because we probably can't actually pierce your scales. Don't go over there. Oh no. No, 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 no. Don't you do it. Don't. I see those cogs turning. He's coming back around. Oh, this still hasn't been finished. People have had a while to work on this. There's probably less uh, jobs available now that I've got uh, these things. Yeah, these take four people and six gold per year, so they're a little bit worse. It has the damage output as well, so that's 66, that's 22, so yeah, it's triple the damage. So really I should have had more of these in sooner. Is he leaving? Nothing set on fire. Now he's off. Fair enough. There's our military commander. Oh, actually just warning me that Vikings are coming. Yeah, that's been and gone. That's all fine. Alright, so... Defense is looking pretty nice. Let's add a little bit more over here. Whoops, I missed. One, two. One is available to work on a new construction. Oh, really? Okay, we'll switch off the towers. I really wish there was a button that was just like... Switch off all defensive buildings. I mean, maybe there is and I've just not spotted it yet, but... That would be so nice. So we didn't have to mess about going through all of these and shutting them down until we've got enough people spare to work on construction. That'll do. How's our money? Excellent. Seeing as we've still got our taxes pretty high. 
Let's put him up a bit more. Bit unfair, really. How's this doing? Generating two happiness so far. Takes 12 per day. It does have an upper limit of knowledge, and that is 20. It's just got up to three. Very good. 20 will be an awesome boost to have. Now, what's the range of the thing? Oh, there we go. It does show it. Oh, these ones are just outside. Oh, and that one's... Oh, really? That is so frustrating. We could just swap that house with this one and we get more happiness. Get all these ones around here, even outside the walls are good. Oh, the manors are out of range. So what we need to do is get rid of all the charcoal places and just put libraries everywhere. And then just set up the charcoal stuff. I think over here is probably the best spot. In fact, we'll do that right now. We have reached pretty much the end of the episode, but I, I will get these done first. Or do we want to have the road here, actually? I'm not really sure. There's some nice land for growing on here. That is what we want this to be primarily for. We'll put it over here. This one, this stuff isn't quite so awesome for growing. So I don't feel quite as bad. We'll put two in. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. And a tree has just grown there. What? I didn't know that could happen. Or was that chopped down previously? Let's get rid of it anyway. I want to build the thing there. Somebody come get rid of it. Please. We're supposed to end the episode. Somebody clear the tree! There's three people idle. Someone's come from across the other side of the kingdom to chop this stupid tree down. There we go. Get on with it. He'll get there. I could speed up time thinking about it at this point, but I think... Yep, it's done. Build. And then we'll go up here. Demolish. And we will... Build another library because libraries are awesome. I don't know which one is the entrance. There's stairs, but there's also what looks like a door. Let's do the stairs. And if it's the door, then... Sorry. You'll have to... I don't know how you'll get in. You'll have to just go onto the roof and in through the... In through the roof, I guess. There's one more over there. That one's not next to any houses, though. No one's unhappy about that, as far as I can tell. Not seeing any problem there. So that one can stay for the moment. We might move it later, put something else there. But nothing springs to mind. I mean, we could put a library there so that these are in range, but... Uh, I think we've got, a, like, two libraries is, is pretty good. Our happiness is 62, even with uh, maxed out taxes. So that is fantastic. And now everyone's got the plague. Well, I'm sure they'll be fine in the long run. So with that, we shall say goodbye. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.